um, from Alex Cooks, doing great, man. You teach and inspire me a ton. Where can I see a before and after with your progress? I want to see where you first started. Look at my Instagram. Just uh, scroll down a few. I did a few transformation videos, so you can see it there. You can already tell just from like not trained me that I had some decent genetics on me. So, yeah, I mean, it's still twig looking. The progress is fantastic, so I love that. But, um, fuck, this is so out of order. I don't know what to do. Um, we are at 4,574 subscribers. So please like, comment, subscribe. Do algorithm things. Follow the Instagram. I guess TikTok too. I don't really care, but like TikTok as well. It would help. And help me grow the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So I will see you at whatever's next. Because I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, welcome to the, oh, I, I guess I don't really have a title for back, but um, <laughs> a good day of the week. Any upper body day is good. Back day. Um, today has been hectic. I didn't get to do a nice bath in the morning. And then it's only been me here. So I'm, I really haven't taken a break and I won't be. So no time to go home and take a nice bath before it's pitch black and then you guys can't see me anyways. And since I was rushing so much, I just took a picture of my meals and then I ate it whenever I could. I just been going and doing things all day. I've been occupied. So I'm gonna go over the meals that we've had so far. Two protein shakes, which you guys do not get to see, but it was, um, the gas station didn't have the 42 gram fair lives and they wanted to charge Still five bucks for the 26 gram ones. I said, fuck that. I'm getting the regular Fair Life little chocolate milks and they're gonna give me 50 grams of protein for the price of uh, a regular protein shake. Actually, I got more. It's like the same price, but I get more protein. It's a little bit more protein, but whatever. But uh, yeah, protein shake, 50 grams of protein there. We had some eggs, 50 grams of protein right there. The video is going to be on the screen somewhere at some time showing all this food. Um, and then ground beef and onions, chicken aioli, everything adding up to about 200 grams of protein around there. We also had two bananas, you know, need the potassium, your body is... 80% water, you need to be hydrated. Potassium will help with that, especially if you're an athlete. You want to be at your peak performance, and that includes hydration especially. Um, and then we had, what was it? Oh, yeah. We had some, uh, some tortillas to put everything in, make a little, like, mini burritos at work. <laughs> but, yeah, we are, I've had everything other than the chicken aioli. So we're at 150 grams currently of protein, will be 200, and quite a bit of, you know, carbs and shit because of that chocolate milk from the protein shakes, the tortillas, the bananas, and then that is essentially it when it comes to food at least. So that's a good amount of carbs right there. That's definitely enough to give us a fat pump for this back day. I had to come in the kids club as you can tell, wow, look at all the kids stuff because there's no one in here and the sound system in the actual gym just shit out so it doesn't work so everyone can hear me talking to the camera and it's like, I'm, I don't really care, especially when it's like, I'm the assistant general manager here and like, I'll just revoke your membership respectfully, but, <laughs> but it's, it's not that, it's just like, Damn, I talk loud. Everyone hears me in the gym whenever I'm talking. So I had to come in here where it's quiet because there's no one in here. It's really sad. But uh, yeah, sorry about no ice bath, but I will see you at the workout. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So come here, both of you. Oh, dang. And Wesley. <laughs> and Wesley. Come on, Walter. What's your phone? They just showed up to the gym with uh, all right merch. 
How many of these did you make? Just these. these. Three. Just these? Yeah. This is just to show you. Just to see if you like it's, it. It's, it's if you want to actually make them. See if you wanted a, a new merch idea. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, because Taylor has that printing company or whatever. This is, uh, I, n I never thought that this would be on a shirt. A shirt, to be honest with you. I didn't realize I said all right that much until I started recording myself. This is very funny. Do you guys want all right merch? I guess. We'll change the design. Whatever we gotta do if it's like something that's needed. <laughs> how, long, how long has this been in the works? Like you guys? Like a week. A week? 48 hours. 48 hours? That works quick. We made it up. No, we made it up on Wednesday and then we picked them up today. All right. <laughs> All right. Starting off the back day. I did a fuck ton of assisted pull-ups, really getting the back nice and warm. So now that that's all feeling good, bam, running the regular pull-ups. I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to be doing assisted pull-ups after regular pull-ups or if I'm going to just stick with straight bar pull-downs. We'll see. Whatever's feeling the best currently. We, uh, I'm still, I might do a mix of both the handles of like wide grip and close grip. Who the fuck is here? There's a ghost or some shit. It's close. We're, we're closed, so there shouldn't be anyone. But I don't know if I'm going to be doing close or wide grip. Might do both. We'll see. Whatever's feeling best. I did warm up with the wide grip. So it would, would probably be best to continue doing the wide grip since I just trained that uh, form for quite a bit of time. I did like 80 reps for the warm up. Not anything crazy, super lightweight. Well, I guess heavy weight on the assisted pull up, but super lightweight where it was just effortless. Just drilling how to feel my back how to move, at what point should I do this? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Warming up my back has been something that has helped a tremendous amount in terms of overall back development and for every muscle group. So you should definitely be warming up properly. Fuck, I have some like Maroon 5 or some shit on. I should have changed it beforehand. <laughs> Straight arm pull downs, two sets, still sticking with the, the lower volume for now. I'm just, I've gotten to the point, like before I took three days off, just in a row, no filming, no gym, no nothing. I'm just, I was just like, I just want to relax. I don't want to do anything. Before then, like before that, I was tired. I was dying. My body was so fatigued. So I'm glad I took 
those rest days. But I'm continuing with the lower volume for now. We'll see. Um, just trying to give my body a little bit of a rest. It got to the point where it's like whenever you get so fatigued from uh, weeks and weeks of very hard training, your body hits a point of fatigue where it's like, we are not gonna grow any, mu any muscle. It doesn't matter if you add 18 more sets or whatever the fuck, or eat hella more protein, enter in whatever excuse you want. You won't grow because your body just simply is too fatigued. It's more, it's focusing more on repairing your muscles than all the other little fatigues across your whole body. Yeah, so only two sets. Let's get into this. Camera's about to die. Thank the Lord it didn't. All right, cable rows. Two sets only, not much. Super, super quick and easy workout, honestly. But that's what I'm going for currently. Like, still pushing the intensity, but just keeping the, the, the volume and the amount of sets down. Because like I was saying earlier, I'm just so beat up, man. I'm so tired. So, it, obviously something needs to change. I need to just rest for a little bit before going back in the full crazy mode, I guess. Going as hard as possible. But with cable rows, we're making sure that we are getting f the full stretch, literally like leaning over like this, and then not going to here Still have an arch in your back, but just go to here, straight up and down. Pull your elbows back as far as possible until you hit your stomach with the bar. That's where it should go every time, unless it's like cheat reps or something. And we're making sure that we are utilizing as much time as possible in that bottom portion of the movement because that deep stretch portion is 10% more hypertrophic than any part of the range of motion for any exercise. It's a, there's, a whole, there's whole studies about it. Go look it up if you don't believe me. So, whenever we do cheat reps, my main, well, what I used to do at least, not now, was let's say we're doing this. I would just kinda stay in this position and get some like, extra here reps but in actuality since we should be keeping the partial reps in that deep stretched portion i guess it would be more i don't know from here i guess use a little bit more body english so that you can get it all the way just not this you know Mm. 
All right, last exercise, five sets of rear delts. I've been considering dropping the amount simply because I didn't realize how much rear delt stimulation you got from the majority of your back exercises until recently. So I'm considering dropping it. But honestly, I feel like rear delts can always need work essentially so i'll probably keep it as five but for the form doing that thing where we're fully extended and we're trying to touch as much space as possible so we're not going like we're not going like this or anything like that straight arms as much space as possible full extension and then what bam this way, doing that has, and, oh, and thinking of out and back instead of just back, fantastic things for feeling your rear delts. I haven't felt, I didn't realize how much I didn't feel my rear delts until doing this way of all the way out, going all the way, doing that. So you know, full arms, extension, all that shit. And I feel it so much better. Cause usually, well, used to just go like this, have like, instead of straight, bend in the arm and just think back. And it wasn't really hitting the rear delt like it was supposed to. So now, arm straight. Oh yeah, it feels so much better. Out and back not just back think that i'm it's gonna help a lot oh my god fuck in my fucking pocket.
All right, Q&A of the day from Steve has been there. I appreciate the comment, my boy, um, even though I, th I guess you're hating. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter to me. A comment is a comment in the YouTube algorithm does not know negative or positive comments. It just knows huh, more engagement, more uh, views for this person. So thank you very much. But Steve has been there. They have done studies on cold plunge and it actually kills your gains. Why do it? Um, I have seen several of these comments. So this is why I've picked this one. <sighs> if you guys actually watched more than one TikTok on it, you would know that that statement is half true because it only kills your gains if you do it like directly after your workout. <laughs> like it, 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 you're stupid, respectfully. Not you, Steve, just yeah, it's not your fault. You don't know. I didn't know at one point, but um, so as long as you do your ice bath before the workout or wait several hours, like three hours, I guess, I don't know the exact time, but wait like three hours after um, your workout to do your ice bath, no negative changes will happen. So now that we defended ice bath real quick in terms of uh, reducing hypertrophy, let's talk about the main benefits that I like about ice baths. There's a whole laundry list, but the ones that I actually care about, I just wrote down real quickly. Metabolism is going to increase um, one because whenever you get in the cold water um, your body has to regulate the heat I mean regulate your body temperature so it's going to use calories doing that and then whenever you get out and you start heating up it's going to do the same and burn calories but that's whatever but it actually increases your metabolism like your actual metabolism it's not because you oh my god excuse me so sorry about that it's not because there's a whole bunch of actual health benefits like incre uh, reducing your like well increasing your insulin sensitivity so that's good you know insulin is a very potent steroid that the pros inject a lot of because it's so powerful so if you can get natural insulin through things like uh, like having sugar at the end of a meal to spike your insulin or some shit like that that's good that's extra gains essentially for you so if you also add the ice bath well bam extra insulin extra gains that's cool and you know there's a whole there's a whole bunch of other like actual health benefits in there but that one i was just like okay gains cool bet check that off the list <laughs> um increases mental strength you know don't you think that if you can put yourself through two minutes of torture that it would increase you at the gym putting yourself through torture right like you're gonna be able to push harder in the gym and push harder in general life because you are going to um you're just gonna have you understand delayed gratification right you uh you understand like that you can put yourself into those uncomfortable situations every day making you more likely to put yourself in other difficult situations throughout your whole life whether it's the gym a job uh asking out a girl whatever it is you know what i mean but partly a reason that it does this is because it gives you a humongous humongous dopamine increase it gives you essentially the same dopamine as cocaine, but instead of lasting for 
three minutes, it lasts for three hours. Crazy, right? And a lot of your problems when it comes to being able to do the work that you don't want to do, like go to the gym four times this week instead of three because you've been slacking and you were supposed to be going to the gym four days every week, but you've only managed three or two or whatever the fuck. The reason you cannot do those things is because it does not give you a um, as much dopamine as what you are used to. Me, you, everyone that lives nowadays is an absolute dopamine junkie. We're doing things like being on social media 24 seven, um, watching porn, masturbating, um, fucking my favorite, drugs, obviously, and video games. All these super high dopamine actions that whenever you go to do the things that don't give you as much dopamine, you're bored. Why? Because the literal happy molecule, molecule in your brain is like, it's, there's less of it, obviously. So you're not good. How? Why? Why the fuck would you do your homework whenever there's a video game right there? Right? How would you be happy to do your homework if the video game's right there? Right? So, um, how it works is essentially when you do bad habits, I'm just going to use drugs for example, drugs, video games, whatever the fuck, your dopamine gets a huge spike all the way up here. I just had to flex real quick when I saw my arm. <laughs> gets a huge spike. And then as it starts to come back down the baseline, as you're not doing those things, it actually dips below your preset maintenance level of your baseline of dopamine, making you sad. This is why people that get off of, you know, hard drugs and shit like that, they become seriously depressed. So you're basically, so you're putting it below baseline. And then what happens when you keep doing those bad habits and your baseline dopamine starts here and then you smoke a little bit of weed, video games, porn, sugary foods that you get addicted to and make you dumb actually. The American foods physically make you dumb. You keep resetting your baseline dopamine down here from doing all those things. But the opposite happens when you do things you do not like. So baseline dopamine. You work out. Oh my God, I gotta go do all, oh my God, I gotta. I have to put myself through physical pain. I don't wanna do this. Baseline dopamine. Your dopamine goes down here because you don't want to do it. It sucks. And then after the workout, your dopamine, instead of like whenever it goes back to baseline, it goes above baseline, making you physically happier. You know, you've heard the term runner's high, right? Or, it's, or you, you probably experienced this if you've gone to the gym ever. Anytime that you go to the gym, it sucks. But then afterwards, you just feel like, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm happy. It's because your dopamine is spiked from that, making you happier, making you be able to do the hard things you don't want to do because you have extra motivation and shit like that. Excuse me again, Jesus Burpin. Seth, edit, edit that out if you can. Sorry. <laughs> um, but same thing with ice baths. Because it sucks. In the short term, you're going to gain long term in terms of just a whole lot of benefits. But that's enough ranting for 10 minutes. So. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Do algorithm things. 
comment 18 times for me. If anyone comments 18 times, I'll, I'll make you the automatic, <laughs> the automatic uh, subscriber shout on that, like next video or whichever video comes out at that time. Um, and then I guess if multiple people do 18 comments, it can be the same, by the way. Um, I'll just go with whoever has the most amount. I'll count them out. <laughs> That's something I should keep doing. Drive engagement. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, thank you for doing algorithm things. Appreciate you right there that just subscribed and liked and commented 18 times. Um, we are at quite a our, the subs are doing pretty good. Um, I will see you tomorrow for the second best day of the week, Arm Day.